Students at the Logansport Juvenile Correctional Facility have the opportunity to get creative. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner reports on how one artist hopes to inspire students through a piece they can call their own. I've had a lot of ideas about maybe, you know, getting a hold of Emmanuel when I get out and maybe seeing, you know, if he could work with me. That's the hopeful voice of one of Emmanuel Martinez's students. Martinez has been visiting Logan Sport for the past week in hopes of leaving a lasting mark on this student, along with many others, at the juvenile correctional facility. Martinez says when he was just 13 years old, he was incarcerated. And that's when he painted his very first mural. I was helped by an individual who got me on the right path and got me back into school. And I graduated with a couple scholarships for art and I just went on to pursue my career. Martinez currently runs the Emanuel Project, a program that creates an art curriculum, provides art supplies, and helps students paint everlasting murals at juvenile correctional facilities across the country. Martinez says he wants his program to encourage students to shape up their behavior and focus on their academics. These, uh, these kind of programs are very helpful to the kids because uh, it helps stimulate their creativity and it helps them visualize their potential. Logan Sport will be one of 10 facilities that the Emanuel Project will visit this year. One student at Logan Sport says he is taking full advantage of this opportunity. It feels good to do and it kind of takes my mind away from the environment that I'm in for a little bit and it feels good. Martinez says the mural will take 10 days to complete. The finished product will be unveiled on March 14th. Martinez says the mural will be about 80% of the student's work. Brittany Tyner, News Channel 18.